A walk in the park may not always be what they say. I had severe nerve pain from my wrist all the way up to my arm and through my shoulder and it was just on some days I really wouldn't even be able to lift my arm and it was just so painful. When Nancy Kim was 25 years old she started feeling severe nerve pain and knew it wasn't good. Without any treatment available there really wasn't a point to get tested. Treatment for hereditary transthyretin amyloidosis, known as HATTR, a protein disorder that builds up on vital organs, leading to organ failure. Six of my uncles have passed away, one of my aunts. Her uncle and father also have the disorder. In 2018, Nancy tested. She was only 35 years old. To no surprise, I, I found out that I had the gene mutation and that I, I had amyloidosis. HATTR is so rare, only 50,000 people in the world have it. Since the disorder has 30 different conditions, it can be difficult to diagnose. Nancy suffers from polyneuropathy, which attacks her nerve system. Seeing the disease progression in my dad and how it's affected him, it definitely is a constant worry in my mind. Her father had to have a heart transplant, which is how it used to be treated 10 years ago. Nancy was originally treated with lengthy transfusions every three weeks. I didn't want to be revolving my life around appointments. Then her UC San Diego cardiologist, Dr. Marcus Uray, came to her with a breakthrough medication to treat her HATTR polyneuropathy. They were the first in the country to offer Mvutra, an injection that's only required every three months. Our goal is to try to reverse some of the disease and have improvement in, their, in the disease burden. Clinical trials showed progress in 48 percent of patients. Many of the amyloidoses um, are not ones that we can cure, but we can control and at least improve or at, uh, hopefully stabilize their quality of life. With her dog Coco close by to soothe her, Nancy Kim says this other therapy is giving her hope. So I'm really hopeful for um, just the future and other patients. Nancy hopes that her story will inspire others and also encourage people to get screened if they believe they may have it or someone in their family. To learn more, go to CBS8.com click on this story.